I'm so thankful for my resolve that I, I did not feel out of place, despite the fact that I'm the first black woman, first woman of color even to hold the position. And again, only the 14th woman in history to serve on the Michigan Supreme Court. I know how important it is, and I'm just so honored and so glad to be there making really important decisions for Michiganders. Do I feel from my psychology days imposter syndrome? And the answer is no, <laughs> I don't. Um, I know that I deserve to be there. I know that what it, I know what it took to get to this point. Um, and I know that I am the best person, especially operating now for the job. It feels wonderful to be back on campus. The energy just radiates off this campus of inclusion and equity. And it was a wonderful moment to be able to speak about my experiences and my journey, which largely included Grand Valley. Professor Bloomrick was my English professor. I minored in English. And I remember being in her office. And I really felt I should be doing something different. And she said, I think law school would be great for you. It's always been really important to me to build relationships, and I think everything else stems from that. Even if you have a difference of opinion or a difference of process, if you know the person, you can probably get to a common ground. That was my goal going in, is just, just have conversations, get to know people, and then figure out what things we could work on together. And that was really, really helpful for me to be able to get bills passed and to do the work for my community in a really robust way. How could I make sure that families saw justice in a way that my family didn't see justice? I feel a sense of pride at how far my family has been able to come in just a few generations from, I've said, from lynching to law school and from injustice to capital J justice. So I just feel a sense of pride for how far we've been able to come, the progress we've been able to make, but still realizing how far we have to go. That's why it's so important for my daughter to see not just me, but other people in positions of power that really care about people, that are empathetic, that are compassionate, and that are looking for progress. I just hope that she grows up in a world seeing people that look like her. I didn't want her to get to her adulthood never seeing a black woman on the Michigan Supreme Court like I had to.